Hello guys, Meta Outfitter here. And today I am going to walk you through the next phase of our project, which is the float tanks, the 3D pass, and the first class pass. So I'm on the updated version of our, of our website right now. And on the very top here, you can see that we have added a store button. So go ahead and click into here. After clicking in here, you will see two different buttons. One of them is for purchasing float tanks, and then the other one is for the 3D pass. So let's go into the float tank here first. Okay, clicking into it. The first thing that you will see is the bar here that shows how many float tanks have been minted. And then on the right hand side here, once you have minted something, uh, it will show up in your inventory. And since I haven't claimed anything yet, I have an empty inventory. So the first thing you will do is to press this button, authorize friendship use. Uh, so what this button does is we have a new smart contract for the float tanks. And the float tanks need to uh, interact with the friendship tokens that you have. And authorizing, what it does is it will uh, allow the contract to use your friendship tokens. So there's a small gas fee here. And right now the GUI is at 21. It's around $4.5. So I'm going to hit confirm. It's going to take a little bit of time to process this transaction. So while you are waiting, we have this small uh, pop-up window here telling you to wait. So let's pause a little bit actually. Okay, it took about 30 seconds for that transaction to go through. So the next thing that I will do is now you can see here on the bottom, I have a quantity that I can choose to mint as well as the cost. So if I increase the quantity here that I wanted to mint, the cost of the friendship will also increase. And since right now my inventory, there's only 593 friendship, I am only gonna pick one. So I'm going to press mint. Okay, so minting one uh, cost about $14.67 which is 0.005 ETH. And because we are also using the ERC-721A contract for this part of the uh, roadmap, uh, when you mint five, you are going to see only a slight increase on the gas cost. So let's click confirm here also. Once again, waiting for the transaction to go through. Let's pause here. Okay, it just went through. Uh, so once it goes through, there's gonna be a small pop-up that says uh, minted successfully. And then once you click OK on that pop-up, you will see on the right-hand side here on the inventory, there is one. And then the minted number updated to right now 25. Okay, so now I have one float tank in my inventory. Now let's go to the eight friends 3D pass here. So I actually don't have enough tokens here. So why don't we go into the token claim page and also uh, try to claim something. Okay, so this here, sometimes when you load into this website, um, the number of the tokens doesn't show up. And this is because we are actually pulling data from uh, the blockchain and sometimes it's just, it just acts up. And what we would do in this scenario is to just refresh and it should show up properly here. Okay, so if you refresh, uh, I have personally collected a bunch of different apes. So I'm just going to claim some of them. Actually, let's select all. I'm gonna claim token on all of them. Yeah, so I have the GUI here uh, in real time. So you guys can see my gas fee compared to the GUI and kind of get an estimate on how things will cost for you guys. All right, now I have enough tokens here. Let's go to the store again. And then let's go to 8friends 3D Pass. Click into here. So this page is a little bit more complicated. You're going to see two different images here and two different bars. So for the 3D pass, uh, what you need to do is you will need to select one ape that you like 
to claim the 3D pass. Uh, once you claim the 3D pass on that ape, that ape will no longer be eligible for the awakening process. So even though you can use it to claim float tanks, you will no longer be able to uh, use it to awaken to get the yellow ape. Uh, and if you are one of the first 666 people to get a 3D avatar pass, you will get a first class pass as well. Right now, we are limiting to one per wallet. So we are trying to maximize the number of holders for this pass. This way, when we do activities later on, we can get the most number of people to participate in these different activities and events and uh, parties. Okay, so same thing here. Because this is a different smart contract, uh, you will also need to authorize this smart contract to use your friendship token. And once again here, small gas fee that you need to pay to authorize it. And let's pause here. Okay, I guess I don't have to pause anymore. It goes by pretty quickly. All right, so I am going to pick one of the apes I really like because you want to make sure you're not picking an ape that you don't want to see in 3D. Let's see, yeah, okay. I really like this guy. I like this guy also, the pirate samurai. All right, let's get the pirate samurai. All right, so clicking on the Pirate Samurai, you can actually select multiple. I think we set it the uh, max amount to 100. But selecting multiple just means that you will be claiming multiple 3D passes. And right now, uh, you know, there's only four people that have claimed the 666. So you will only get one uh, even if you select multiple. Uh, you will only get one first class pass even if you are claiming multiple 3D passes. I'm just going to claim the one right now. So clicking on this guy, uh, it costs 950, and then I'm going to tap claim. Okay, there's some gas fee associated with this. It's a little bit higher here uh, because for th this contract, you're essentially minting two different NFTs if you're one of the first. So you are minting the first class pass as well as the 3D avatar pass. Once it goes beyond the 666, the gas fee will be uh, probably halved. Okay, so I'm going to press confirm here. Once again, wait a little bit. All right, here. This window will pop up when you mint successfully. So you just press OK. And then it will refresh. The NFT that I have selected for claiming, now it says pass redeemed. So it means you have claimed the pass. And then on here, you can see I have two additional NFTs. So I have a first class pass here, and then also a 3D token. So a little bit more about the 3D token. Uh, right now, the way that we have designed it is this uh, 3D avatar pass is cross-compatible with uh, any NFTs, Zoo Friends NFTs. So you can sell this and trade it with your friends. The NFT itself, the 3D avatar pass NFT itself is not bound to your uh, NFT that you use to mint the 3D avatar pass. So, you know, if later on I want to use this guy and the 3D avatar pass, I can do that. Uh, which means if you want to grab one on the secondary market, OpenSea, later on, you can also grab it. Um, and then it's compatible with any zoo friends, basically. Okay, that's it. I hope you guys have fun with this new system that we have been building. We uh, really enjoyed it, and I think... You guys will really enjoy it as well. So good luck, everybody. Bye.